Hello Darts Nuts, I'm going to do a review on the new 180 Rotor Fix dartboard holder. Uh, this is something I've been quite interested about reviewing for a while. Ever since I first seen it, it looked like a really neat and clever idea. Um, I tend to use the little uh, round um, brackets for my board mostly. And this looks as if it's got a... Uh, a really uh, unique way of holding your dartboard and helping you to rotate it uh, precisely. I'll just read what it says on the box. It says holds the dartboard firmly in place and absorbs any vibrations. So that's quite a, a good idea if it works. High tech plastic used for maximum durability new clip design immediately ensures precise vertical location of the 20 segment when the dartboard is rotated which is probably what all these um, little notches are for and on the back it just tells you how to assemble it and obviously what you get in the box so we'll have a look inside it these retail for uh, I think it's about 9 quid and I think that's a pretty good price to be honest for something like this so what have you got then well you've got your instructions on how to set it up so that's something I'm probably going to have to read, few, uh, read through it and It looks like a clever little measuring device that. So a locator. So that must be what you use to get the segments lined up. That's one thing I wasn't sure about is whether or not I'll come to that when I finally fix it up. But one thing I was thinking was that some boards the spider isn't even all the way sometimes the segments may be a little bit wider on one than than on the other so whether that would cause any issues i don't know but we'll have to see that and there you've got all your screws and fixings so it looks to be quite involved at first but i suppose once you've done it once and you've got the hang of it it's going to be easy but well, you're probably only ever going to need to do it once unless you have a number of boards and then you might want to get another it looks quite intricately intricately designed it certainly looks as if there's been a lot of thought gone into the design of it the plastic is really quite strangely moulded so I'm not quite sure how it works yet without having read the instructions properly but I'm assuming that is where it clicks I'll have to go and read the instructions and set it all up
Right then, I've got the board set up on my dart stand at the moment. Um, I'll, obviously I need to put it on the wall, but just for the sake of the review I've just put it on the dart stand as it's quicker. Um, I do have a dart board on the wall, but I'll have to take that one off. And um, I thought this would be the quickest way to do it, but all the instructions that I've given work exactly the same for fixing it to the wall. So Once the board is set up, uh, you can see it's lined up with the 20 segment and when you need to rotate the board it's just a case of turning the board and then you wait until it clicks into place and that's it, it's clicked into place there. It's a little bit squeaky because it um, depends how, you, how tight you want it. I put mine quite tight so you can have it a little bit looser just depends how much you tighten the screws but it moves two segments depending on whether you turn it left or right I think you can turn it both ways yeah and it just clicks in place there nice and simple a very clever idea it makes it a lot easier for when you want to turn your board it makes sure that every time you've turned it to the next section it's already perfectly aligned which is a great idea it just clicks into place each time you can feel the click as you turn it and it's it's easy enough to turn so very simple idea but it works very well so I'll just throw a few darts at it now just to see what it sounds like Well, from that first throw it sounds a little bit quieter. It's going to make more noise because it's on the dart stand, but it, it sounds more like a, a, like a kind of a gentle thud. Obviously a lot depends on the board as well, because each board sounds different depending on how compact it is and how it's connected to the backboard. I'll just throw a few darts around the board. Sounds quite even the sound all the way around the board. Yeah, quite impressed with that. It's a, a nice little tool for setting up on your board and fixing it up. And price is dead cheap, so the only thing is you gotta spend a little bit of time of with them um, preparing the setup, but it's not really a problem. I would say for most people it's probably only gonna take about ten to fifteen minutes to set up. And once it's up, that's it. It'll be on for the life of the board, so no problem at all. Makes turning the board a lot easier and quite a clever idea. So that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.